In modern large language models such as ChatGPT, the input text is processed by an encoder to get a latent representation, which is then fed to a decoder to get an output word. Both the encoder and decoder are designed based on several transformer layers. This diagram shows a transformer. The main component of a transformer layer is a multi-head attention module or simply an attention mechanism, which we are going to explain it in this video. Using this module, the model can relate each word in the input text with others. To understand the attention mechanism, we first talk about a simple indexing task. Consider a book in which each page can be considered as a key. When you have a question or query, you need to find the most relevant pages or keys to find your answer. The retrieved information can be considered as a value, which can come from a combination of various pages or keys. In this paper, Attention is All You Need, which was published in 2017, the authors proposed the self-attention mechanism, which can be considered as an indexing task. As mentioned in this paper, using this mechanism, we can find the relationship of one word with other words in an input text. To compute self-attention, we first compute a query, a key, and a value for each word in the input text to get three matrices, Q, K, and V. If you have 10 words, then each of these matrices will have 10 rows, and the columns represents the latent features. To do a similarity check and find the most relevant keys based on the query, we use a dot product. This produces a new matrix. We then scale the numbers in this new matrix and apply the soft max operations to normalize the numbers in the scaled matrix. This creates a normalized matrix that can be considered as an attention map. Finally, we multiply the attention map with the value matrix to retrieve our information. The retrieved information contains the relation of each word with respect to other words in the input text. Now, let's see how we can compute the query, key, and value matrices. Consider a sample text like this one. The first step is to split the text into smaller chunks or tokens. For example, we can consider each word as a token. We then pass each token to an embedding layer to convert it to a vector of numbers. Each embedding vector can be considered as a numeral representation of the related token. In the original transformer model, the length of the embedding vectors is 512. The embedding vector of each token is then multiplied by three different trainable matrices to get one query, one key, and one value for each token. We can consider these three matrices as feature extractors. In order to implement the self-attention mechanism, we have five steps. In step one, we put the, the embedding vector of each word in one row of a matrix. For example, if we have two tokens and the length of our embedding vector is four, then we obtain a matrix of size two by four. This matrix is then multiplied by a weight matrix to get a query matrix. For example, the query vector of the first token will be in the first row of the query matrix and so on. We repeat the same process to get one key matrix as well as one value matrix for our input text. In step two, we compute the similarity between the query matrix and the key matrix. This can be done by multiplying the query matrix by the transpose of the key matrix. This gives us a similarity matrix. For example, the second element in the first row of this matrix shows the similarity or relationship between the first and second word. In step three, we scale the computed similarity matrix by dividing it by the square root of DK. DK is the number of columns of the key matrix. This prevents the dot products from becoming too large or too small. In fact, it helps to stabilize the gradients during training and improves the overall performance of the model. The next step is step four. In this step, we apply a soft max function to the scaled similarity matrix to normalize the values within it. This allows us to obtain the weights on the values. In fact, this matrix can be considered as the attention weight matrix. We use this matrix in step five to retrieve our information from the value matrix using a weighted average. Specifically, we multiply this matrix by the value matrix to get an output matrix called A. Each row in this matrix is a new embedding of the relevant word, which captures not only the semantic meaning of that word, but also the interaction of that word with other words. Note that the dimension of matrix A is the same as the input matrix. For example, if the embedding of each word is of length 512, you will get a new embedding of the same size as the output. Now, let's see what is the multi-head self-attention mechanism. If you feed the input data to multiple independent self-attention layers and concatenate their output embeddings, you can build a multi-head self-attention layer. Each of these independent layers are called a head, and you can train them independently and in parallel. 
This allowed to expand the capacity of our network as each of these head can attend to different parts of the text. This was a short introduction of this mechanism. Hope you liked it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.